Good morning guys. Welcome back to my channel. This is Raven's Crochet. I am Sarah and this is Raven. Say hi Raven. Say hi Raven. Yeah. See she wants down. I think she just woke up from a nap. She had her morning nap. It's just after 9 a.m. my time. It'll be probably a couple hours from now when this video is uploaded. Say hi baby girl. <clears throat> hi honey. <clears throat> I think she wants down. This is her birthday month. Raven just turned 15. <clears throat> I've had her since she was a baby. She's all updated on her vaccinations. And she's just healthy and playful. I got her fixed when she was just two years old. So even to this day, she still acts like a kitten. What you doing? What you doing? <clears throat> so anyways, I wanted to pop on and say good morning. And show you guys a couple of projects that I finished. I haven't been doing much because I've been working my tail off at work. Yesterday I was by myself because somebody called in. One of the assistant managers no less called in. And the store manager is on vacation. And so now we have another manager in training that is on standby for us. And will come in from time to time to help us out. So it's going to be a really rough week. And nobody should call in because it's really hard to find coverage and yada 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 so anyways first off I got a brand new shirt in the mail the other day I am an aunt one of my sisters has a daughter that's almost two years old and this is my aunt shirt and corn like a normal aunt but more awesome right more awesome okay <laughs> anyways those are those are my rock science rocks I'm into rock music <clears throat> so I'm going to be doing a video soon about um, just about myself so you guys can get to know me better there have been a few questions um, that have not been too yarn related and so I think that would be really really fun after I do my giveaway in the morning and and uh, on Saturday morning August 14th I will be picking the winner and then after that, I will we'll go into more yarn stuff. I've got some yarn orders coming. I ordered from Premier, Lion Brand, Ice Yarns. And I'm fixing to go to Walmart today, and they have a little bit of yarn. So I'm more than likely will get at least a couple of skeins of yarn. I always, every single time I go to Walmart, I look at their yarn. Because you never know. They have the same stuff a lot of the times. Sometimes they might get some new stuff. So we'll see. Um, so anyways... I finished a really really beautiful shawl I was in love with this yarn so much I just I had to put everything else down and get this shawl made I love it so much look at this black beauty with the rainbow colors mixed in I love it love it love it love it love it love it I put tassels on it on all three corners this is just a basic half square granny triangle and oh my gosh, it's so cozy. It's 90% acrylic, 10% polyamide, 450 meters in each cake. So this is nearly a thousand yards. Not quite as big as I would like it on my body. Um, I wear large XL shirts. And this is what it looks like on my body. And it's a decent size standard shawl. And I like it. I'm okay with it. I did order another package of two cakes. They come in um, a pack of two. It is called Cakes Chain, and like I said, 90% acrylic, 10% polyamide, 450 meters. It's a four medium worsted weight yarn. They call for a five to six millimeter hook, but I used a seven millimeter clover hook for this. I love using seven millimeter hooks for four medium worsted weight yarns because it goes through the project much quicker. And if you're okay with those smaller spaces in between your crochet stitches, it's great. And it's great for blankets. If you want to make a blanket for your for your big bed and then you can wear your shawl like this in the winter time so cozy wear it just like a scarf and it'll help keep your shoulders warm still and then you have some still you know down your back and then what I also love to do in the car is use it as a lap blanket especially in the winter time I mean the tops of my legs can get so cold and I just love having longer scarves so that they drape across my legs to my knees. And it just, it's so comfortable. And here's a little tip. I'm pretty much, for the most part, I'm really good about eyeballing, eyeballing the amount of yarn I will need to go around the entire border. Because on all my shawls, 
blankets and everything like that, scarves, so I like to go around the entire border just to frame it and tie it up and make it look neat. And I pretty much used every single bit of yarn to go all the way around the shawl. But I had a few pieces left that were about that long, maybe like 12 pieces, and I incorporated them in my tassels, as you can see here. And then to match the color, the base color, I used Red Heart Super Saver. It's pretty soft yarn. And it's even though it's not the exact yarn as the Cakes Chain yarn, it still matches because it's pretty much the same color and you can't even tell from a distance that it would be a different yarn. And I think it turned out so gorgeous. So if you ever run out of yarn and you want to add more of your base color, just go get your base color in a different type of yarn and pretty much no one's the wiser. <clears throat> I love how this turned out. <clears throat> so that's a shawl that I pretty much got from Ice Yarns, assembly required. <laughs> and then I had some cotton yarn that I got from Walmart, and I'm hoping to find some more today. This was used um, peaches and cream, and the color is called a linen. I don't even know if you guys can see that. It's a linen. <clears throat> it is 100% cotton. It's a four medium worsted weight yarn. It calls for a five millimeter hook. I used a 4.5 millimeter hook on these towels and it is a 102 yard cake. That's so small. You guys can't even probably see the stats. Peaches and cream, 102 yards, 100% cotton. <clears throat> I showed this one in a previous video. This is just a basic um, stitch alternating single crochet and double crochet stitches. And then I did a single crochet round and around the entire border. And I love how it turned out. It's the same size as any standard kitchen or bathroom hand towel you'd find in the store. And then I made another one in a different stitch. I just wanted to experiment to see which one I would like better. For the life of me, I cannot remember this stitch. I'm sure most of you know what this is. It's you single crochet, chain one, skip one, single crochet into the next, repeat. And then each row, it's, you know, it's a one row repeat. You're just pretty much single crocheting into the spaces. You chain one, you skip that single crochet, and then you single crochet into the next chain one space. And then until you get to the end of the row, chain one and repeat. And then just to make the towel wider, I did a couple of rows of the same stitch on the side, on both sides. And then I did four rounds of single crochet all the way around the towel for the border until I ran out of yarn. And I pretty much, you know, did single crochet, single crochet, and then I did like two or three slip stitches and then tied it off on the corner. And it's not as wide <clears throat> as the first towel that I made, but I'm okay with that. It will still be used as a hand towel. This is really, really, really soft cotton yarn. I, I love how these towels turned out. So then I had two scraps left of a few yards from each towel and I used them both to make a little face scrubby. And I pretty much did half double crochets in each round and then I ended that round with a single crochet, single crochet and then and then a slip stitch. And you know, it's not perfect, but you know, I'm okay with that. It's nothing I'm going to sell or anything and it's smaller than what I would like for a washcloth, but I can still use this in the shower or I could take it with me on a trip and use it or whatever. So I'm really happy with these hand towels and I'll be trying to find more of this yarn because I love the color effect. It's a light gray, a light beige with mostly cream. I love the colorway and I love the way this cotton feels. Um, so that's pretty much all that I've made so far. <clears throat> um, I wanted to share with you guys another tip, something that I've been doing. I do this at least twice a week. If I have a crocheted garment I need to hand wash, or if I don't feel like going to the laundromat and washing my uniform shirts for work, I use this kitchen dish strainer. You get this in the kitchen uh, uh, kitchen department. You can get it from Walmart, Dollar General, your dollar store, anywhere that you can find one of these tubs. And these tubs are usually $2 or, or less. I have like a whole bunch of these. I keep these underneath my kitchen sink with all my cleaning supplies. I keep these underneath my bathroom sink with all my other bathroom supplies. So that way if there is a flood, if there's a leak, I can just pull everything out 
in one basket and then bam it's clear underneath the sink and then it can be fixed so I use baby soap I'll put my shirts in or my crochet garment and I'll use baby soap and while I'm in the shower bathing that's when I wash them it's just more convenient I don't get water all over the kitchen um, and it's it's very convenient for me I come home from work at night I get in the shower as the water is warming up I leave the um, the shower head in here to fill up with water since it's too cold for me and I'm, I'm not wasting the water going down the drain and then I swish it around and I let it soak in the soapy water while I'm doing my business while I'm washing my hair shaving my legs all that good stuff when I'm done bathing myself and I've combed the tangles out of my hair then I will rinse out the garments or the shirts and then I will roll them up in a in another bathing towel while I'm drying off and drying my hair and stuff, I'll be stepping on that towel that's rolled up and um, and then I will hang them up in my shower to, to dry. So that's pretty convenient for me and it saves me money in the washing machine. And I keep this pretty much nearby my bathroom or right here underneath my craft table so I always know where this tub is. I can always keep this underneath the sink, just wherever it's convenient for you to keep your tote. Um, this is an 18 quart. If you can get an 18 quart, it'll give you much more room to wash things. They have um, 12 quart tubs too. My, I think that's what I have underneath my sinks. I've got 12 quart tubs. But this is my biggest tub and this is what I use to hand wash my stuff. And I love using it. It's, it works very great. And then when I'm done with it, I just I flip that tub upside down and, and my shower to dry overnight. <clears throat> um, I think that's all I have for now. I'm drinking apple juice this morning. I like Old Orchard. Mm. It's so good. It has a lot of sugar in it, but I water it down just a little bit so it's not as sweet. And it <clears throat> makes my apple juice last a little bit longer. So you guys have seen Raven. She didn't want to say hi, but you saw her. I wanted to remind everyone that I'm doing a giveaway. I'm actually fixing ahead of the store to buy a backup cell phone because I don't my laptop needs repair and it's really noisy when it's turned on. I think the fan and sun needs to be replaced. Um, <clears throat> soon, I'm hoping soon within the next year I will be able to buy a new computer or a new laptop and I will be able to surf websites and pull up prices quicker and be able to do better video tutorials and, and, and just stuff like that. Um, so I'll be doing um, my giveaway. I will be picking a winner tomorrow morning, August 14th, Saturday morning. It'll be at least before 2 p.m. because I have to work that afternoon. So stay tuned for that. If you have not entered the giveaway, go back and enter. And that's pretty much all I have for now. I thank you guys so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for being here. I'm just super stoked that there are more than 600 people now that love what I'm doing and like watching me. I appreciate any other podcaster that gives me a shout out. That's really, really helpful. I'm only, I've only been doing this since April and um, it's now mid-August, which by the way, did I tell you that it's Raven's birthday month? I don't remember the exact day she was born on. <laughs> hi, baby girl. Hi, sweetheart. <clears throat> you want to say hi again? You want to say hi again? This is her birthday month. She just turned 15. You smell like kitty box. Did you just go potty? Yeah, she smells like the litter box. <laughs> but, you know, I still love her. She doesn't like to be held too much. Except for when we're lounging on the couch. She likes to sleep on the floor. <clears throat> I've tried giving her a cat bed, making her a cat bed. She won't have anything to do with them. She likes to lay on the floor. And she likes to sleep on the furniture that I sleep on. And then, of course, her cat tree. So, she just does her own thing, right? But I'm so blessed because she doesn't mess with my yarn. I have yarn and whips all over the place. And she doesn't chew on on telephone cables. She doesn't knock over the trash can. She doesn't tear up anything. She just does her own thing. She plays with her toys. She loves sitting in the window. There's a beautiful front yard with two trees. Lots of squirrels and birds. And there's like a small bush right in front of the window. Sometimes the birds will... Um, fly over and perch on the bush so she can get like a closer view of the birds are like right there she loves it so um 
I'm going to go ahead and go and do my business and, and get this technology stuff upgraded so I can show you guys in my video tomorrow morning as the winner's being picked. I'm so excited to get that mailed out. Um, and then come Monday morning, this next Monday morning, I'll be mailing out um, the giveaway winner. And I'll be mailing out some rainbow yarns to Jennifer at Cinnamon Stitches. Because I have like a whole bunch of stuff I wanted to send to her and to help her channel out. And Jennifer from Cinnamon Stitches has been around for a while. Any podcaster I mention, I will link in the in the description box below. So if you don't if you don't know who Jennifer is at Cinnamon Stitches, go check her out. She's awesome. She does great tutorials sometimes, and she's really good about telling you about the yarn. She has honest opinions, and she just has such a great personality. She loves herself, and she wants you to love yourself too. No matter what you look like, no matter who you are, no matter where you're from. I think diversity is beautiful. We are all beautiful in our own way. And spread the love wherever you can, guys. I really appreciate the comments that you guys are leaving me. Um, I try to respond to people. I'm not too good at that, but I want to at least acknowledge that you left a comment by giving you a heart. Because I love that you guys are leaving me comments. You're taking your own personal time to do that. And it's a lot of love you guys are showing me. And I really do appreciate that. So um, the heart lets, lets you know that I love that you've left your comment. And then it also lets me know that I've acknowledged your comment. Because sometimes I will go back to my older videos. And I will try to skim through comments to see who I may have missed. And then I'll go ahead and leave them a heart. And then sometimes I'm able to comment, sometimes I'm not. There's so many of you that are leaving comments now, but um, I acknowledge each and every one of you. And I really appreciate you guys so much for being here and enjoying the love of yarn and crochet. So I'm going to go do my thing and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for being here and subscribing if you like any of my content. And please at least hit the like button. You don't have to subscribe if you because there's so many... YouTube podcasters out there, um, if I were subscribed to everybody, I would be getting notifications at the walls of you for like ever, for like ever and ever. But I'm still finding other podcasters out there to, to subscribe to, and I'm subscribed to a lot of them. So thank you guys for being here again, like I said, and at least hit the like button if you can, and leave a comment if you want to, if you're comfortable with that. Um, at least say hi if you'd like to. I'd love to, I'd love to know that you're here watching me and uh, I'd love for you to say hi if you're able to. So I'm going to go now and let you guys go and I hope you guys are having a lovely great crochet day. Bye guys.